With this video, I'm going to cover many topics. One thing I want to mention beforehand is I just don't have time to respond to everybody. I'm, I apologize once again. I get a lot of questions. And basically, most everything that is that is asked has already been answered many, many times in previous videos. And I get the same question over and over. Sometimes in one day, I'll get you know 40 questions, the same exact question that I already answered. So I just cannot keep responding to the same questions over and over. I'll respond here and there, but for the most part, I just cannot respond to all questions. Now, getting back on topic with the video, basically it's going to cover a lot of questions, frequently asked questions and concerns. The first thing I want to mention is for all those people that don't understand with all the hoaxes that I'm covering, for all the people that are covering hoaxes and they're not telling you it's all leading up to something, you're just wasting your time. To uncover a hoax with these news stories and not go any deeper, it's not leading you anywhere but to a dead, to a dead end. And understand, these people are all about the occult. Every little detail, everything they do, there is a reason. Don't think it's by chance or by coincidence. So once again, you, people need to understand that. So when I cover videos, let me take a look here at this latest Corinne Gaines hoax from Baltimore. And you see an image like this, and you see the oven in the background, and you see it says Summit. This is not by chance, not by coincidence. That's why they're leaning to, to one side. It's all about the occult of the Most High and the Summit. See all this symbolism with all these companies. Understand, all these companies, for the most part, they are masons behind the scenes running them. This is all about the occult of the Summit, the apex, the highest point, being like the Most High. So, you understand every little detail. With all these hoaxes... There's no wasted motion. Just like you see here with supposed Corinne Gaines' son with the double-handed devil horn sign, okay? These are occultists behind the scenes producing these hoaxes, the one-eye symbolism. Don't think for a second they're doing these for no reason. Just like a movie, it's all a production. Just like you see with this Pampers commercial with this child doing the devil horns and the 666 hand sign. Don't think for a second this means everything's A-OK. -okay. People behind the scenes, they run it all. And they have no shame whatsoever using children as part of pushing their satanic agenda. Okay? So don't come to my channel saying, oh, this just simply means everything's A-OK. -okay. No, it doesn't. You've been told that. You don't understand. Everything you've been told is a lie. You think you're intelligent enough to figure out some things are a lie. But you don't understand that everything you've been told from the very start is a lie. Okay, they love to hide things in plain sight, little Easter eggs. If you don't understand that, you're completely deceived. So don't bother coming to my channel trying to debate me about things you have no idea what you're talking about. Just like a simple photo going back in time with Neil Armstrong. It seems innocent enough. But once again, you don't understand the occult. You don't understand their methods. Okay, little hidden Easter eggs. God is made up. Don't confuse me with facts, okay? If that's just a coincidence. Take a look at this photo once again. Okay, you're going to see a newspaper behind the pizza. You take a look at what it says here. By the way, before I even show that, just so people don't get confused and think this photo is Photoshop, this is straight from CNN. You can look it up yourself. It says right here, upside down demon on the newspaper okay and there's your newspaper here look it up yourself go into photoshop it's there so when you see something like this when i point out you think it's just a stretch well you you believe that because you're deceived you have no understanding once again about their method talking about method and how they love to mock take a look at this image as i shown before with the ming hangs and i actually was directly contacted by this man his name is Joe Franz, and he was the writer of this movie. Okay, you see what's happening here right in plain sight. It says Science 101 with the Flat Earth. Again, this is how they love to mock. Okay? Science 101. So understand, they're all about mockery. And by the way, Joe Franz, he contacted me, wanted to have a phone call discussion. I told him I would talk with him on Skype. I never heard back from him. Just take a look. At Joe Franz in his background with Ben Magera, but also he's done work with National Geographic, the History Channel, Animal Plant Discovery Channel, and the Travel Channel. So 
You know, he has a lot of pull from behind the scenes. When you see, see things like this, you know they're mocking us. Now, talking about mockery, take a look at this image many people have seen with Robbie Parker. Don't think for a second this was by accident or mistake. They wanted to capture this image. Again, it's another form of mockery. And also, in the background as well with the bricks, it's all about masonry. Every little thing they do, there is a reason. Just like this photo here, supposedly leaving Emily Parker's funeral, and you see the big smile. Don't think for a second the photographer you know, mistakenly published this to the newspaper, to the website. They want this out there. So people need to understand that. Just like this photo here with Emily Parker doing the devil horns. Again, they're all about signs and symbols like I shown here in the very first opening image. Signs and symbols rule the world, not words nor laws. And again, people need to understand that. They're not going to outright tell you they're Satan worshipers. They're going to show you with signs and symbols just like they show here. And again, she's instructed to do this. She's not doing this on her own. Just like this man here doing the devil horns. This is an image from CNN. Don't think for a second this is put in here by accident or by mistake. It's all by design. Just like just like Cassidy State doing the devil horns. They're going to give us false meanings for what things mean. The masses are told this means I love you. Okay, that's the meaning for the masses. The people behind the scenes, this is all about the devil horns. If people knew what this actually meant, they wouldn't be doing this. Okay, This is how the matrix works. We're told one thing, it's the exact opposite. This is all about Freemasonry and duality. And again, getting back to Cassidy Stay, supposedly losing her entire family, shot in the head, herself supposedly, and she's throwing up the devil horn signs. Again, the masses are told this means I love you, which it doesn't. Another image here from the supposed funeral. Supposedly wiping away tears. There's no tear drops whatsoever. And you see the big smile. She talks about Harry Potter. Give me a break. I'm taking a look at another image here. With Cassie State. Again, the big smile doing the devil horns. She was taking place here. She's throwing up the devil horns the entire time. She's just an actress. Nobody died. Nobody got, got hurt. Okay, people need to understand that. Now, here is the supposed shooter. Haskell, okay? So, just so happened to be 33 years old. Now, understand what's taking place here. Look at his hair here. Okay, it's orangey red type color. Orange. Here's, this is from 2014. Now, going back in time, supposedly being arrested in Cache County in Utah. See the blondish hair? But for this hoax that went nationwide, worldwide, he has orange type hair. This is all about the occult of 33 and orange just like James Holmes same exact thing back in 2012 with the supposed shooting at Aurora again another hoax orange is 33 more recently they have him without the orange people don't really care about this case too much so again they don't really push the orange hair in this situation but again you know, just keeping the story alive I bring it back in the news not much of a headline but again, the reason for the orange, you need to understand this. It's all about the occult of orange and 33. The only color numerology that is 33, this is why you see Donald Trump with the orange face. Understand, he's just an actor, part of the world stage. And the reason he has, again, the orange face is for the 33. Just like it, I showed many times, the highest degree in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry in 33. Order out of chaos. Taking a look at the whole world matrix, even when it comes to Halloween, with the orange pumpkin. This is why pumpkins were selected for Halloween. You even have the three pyramids as the two eyes and the nose. Okay? Take a look here as well when it comes to October being 33 numerology. Every little detail, every little thing they do, there is a reason behind each and every concept. It's not just a coincidence like people want to believe. Even when it comes to things like Kool-Aid, and you see the Kool-Aid man, and you see the 666, the two eyes and the nose, these are three sixes. And you see the as above, so below, just like Balfamin, as I showed many times with this image here. You know, just one and the same. You even have the red and the blue. It's all about the occult. Everything they do, there's a reason. Yes, it seems ridiculous they would put it on the Kool-Aid man, but that's how they do it. They put the truth in the most ridiculous things such as cartoons, movies, and music 
and I lied to you in the news. That's the world of opposites, the world of Freemasonry, where everything is the exact opposite of what it seems. People cannot grasp this. It seems like they're impossible to get through people's heads. Again, they want to believe they're so intelligent, they can figure some things out are a lie, but they don't realize everything we're told is a lie. Until you figure that out, you're going to remain deceived. Now, getting back to the topic of science and symbols and everything they do, there is a reason. I cannot say they worship Satan with words. They tell you again with signs and symbols, okay? With this image. You see the double horns right in front of your face. This is complete mockery here with Joe Biden throwing up the double horns, not only in one hand, but both hands, okay? This is how they do it. Okay, don't tell me this means I love you, okay? If you're going to say that on my channel, consider yourself blocked because you don't understand what's taking place, okay? Don't tell me she's saying I love you or this is just a coincidence. Every little detail they do, there is a reason. They put it right in front of you. She's not going to say with their mouth once again, I worship Satan. We are Satan worshipers. They're going to tell you again with signs and symbols. Until you figure that out, once again, you're not going to understand this. This is nothing new. Okay, This has been taking place well before any of us were around. All the billions of people on this on this plane that we live on born into nothing but lies and deception. And until people can figure that out, again, they're going to remain deceived in the lie system. Understand, Satan is the father of all lies. There's no truth in them. So why are they going to give us any truth? Okay? It's very, very simple to understand once you are awake. And the awakening process doesn't happen overnight. It takes years and years and years of research. Okay? Now let's get back to images once again. And understanding the signs and symbols heard a true speaker state that Donald Trump has no idea what he's doing when he's making hand signs. You are completely deceived if you believe that person in Zachary K. Hubbard. Just take a look here at the signs and symbols. He knows exactly what he's doing. This is the sign of the inverted pyramid. Okay, The sign of the 33rd order out of chaos. Okay? He stated, oh, when Donald Trump does a 666 hand sign, he doesn't know what he's doing. He wouldn't be in this high level up in the chain if he had no clue what he was doing. So don't listen to these deceivers. They give you a lot of a lot of good info when it comes to numbers, connecting numbers, but then they stop when it comes to vital information. Very simple, very basic, but very vital at the same time. This is nothing new with the 666 hand sign. Taking a look at Ronald Reagan, a supposed conservative, once again throwing up the 666 hand sign. Again, state it once again. This doesn't mean everything's A-OK. -okay. It means that to the masses. It doesn't mean these, this to the Luciferians, these Satanists behind the scenes. Okay? Understand what's taking place. And also, as I mentioned before, he lived in Bel Air, the cult of Bel Air, the prince of power in the air, which is a biblical reference to Satan. And again, 666 Cloud Street. Of course, they changed it to say, oh, we didn't, we didn't want to have that 666 address. But once again, just like Satan, the father of all lies. This is the Luciferian, the satanic way. Nothing but lies is all they give us. So don't believe these liars, these con men for a second. Now, again, another supposed hero, conservative Glenn Beck. He's not again saying everything's A-OK. -okay. If you believe that, again, you are deceived. Just like when he wears his skull and bones with his tux. This doesn't mean he's a Pittsburgh Pirates fan, okay? It's all about the occult. you got the black and white. For masonry, you've got the skull and bones. You will need to understand pirates or pirate is 33. This is all about skull and bones. And also, Glenn Beck is 33 in numerology as well. Okay? It doesn't mean if you have a 33 name, you are a Satanist. But if you are a Mason, you know, and you are propped up and you just happen to be, have a 33 name, you will be propped up even more. People come into my channel say, oh, Glenn Beck, is not 33 in numerology. You're making that up. Well, here you go. Okay? Someone try to point out that Glenn Beck is spelled G-L-E-N when in reality it's spelled with two N's. So again, you get the 33. This is everything they do. There is a reason. Okay? It's not by chance. Just like when you saw going back in time with the supposed Brussels bombing and they supposedly found 33 pounds of explosives at the suspect's house. Understand, or this is part of our rig reality. Everything we're told is a lie with the occult hidden in plain sight. 
Now getting back to this image with this child, people should now be able to figure out this so-called I love you is nothing more than devil horns. And this is not A-OK. -okay. Once again, this is 666. And again, how they control every aspect of our society. Sports, I've covered this before. All these big stars are pulled in. They're, they're part of the rigged reality. I've covered this with my Stephen Curry you know, video exposing him being nothing more than a sellout. You see the 666 hand sign and you see the six. The reason they gave the number six for the Olympics. Six, six, six. That simple. Of course, the USA is like the summit, almost like top of a pyramid. The tongue sticking out. It's like Kali as well. So much symbolism in plain sight. Now, talking about Stephen Curry, a supposed Christian throwing up the devil horns to, for millions and millions to see. Okay? Claims he's a Christian. Devil horns once again. Okay? More of the same. A little bit of a close-up. Okay? And again, the 666 hand sign. I try to explain to these knucklehead basketball fans, this is not, does it mean the three-point shot? Stephen Curry is nothing more than a sellout, no different than LeBron James. Okay? It needs to be understood. We're not making the top just on skill alone. You have to sell out, like I pointed out with Muhammad Ali as well when they gave him 33rd Street in New York, just as you see here. Okay? Stalling Muhammad Ali way on West 33rd Street. So people need to understand there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to recruiting these top athletes as part of pushing their satanic agenda. And Stephen Curry is no different. Okay, just take a look here. LeBron James and Stephen Curry shaking hands during the finals. Okay? See something wrong here? If you don't understand Freemasonry, you don't understand the occult, it'll go right over your head. Both Masons part of this rigged reality. Now, again, talking about there's nothing new under the sun. And all these NBA fans, you know, crying to me on my exposing Stephen Curry video. Oh, this means a three-pointer. This means a three-pointer. Then what do you call this? With Billie Jean King doing this well before Stephen Curry was even born. Do you understand what's taking place? You don't understand the occult. You don't understand the deception that's taking place throughout this world. Take a look at Jackie Chan. Is he a basketball player, a midget basketball player, throwing up a three-point shot sign? People don't understand anything. Getting back to Billie Jean King. Showing she's nothing more than a puppet going back in time and going even today. Look at her hand sign. Masonic hand sign as well. So if you people don't understand what's taking place, that's on you. Don't bother coming to my videos and crying about things. You have no idea what you're talking about. What is a Madonna a basketball player? Is she saying she made a three-point shot like Stephen Curry? Give me a break. Lady Gaga as well. Okay? She's not, she's not saying she made a three-point shot. Like Stephen Curry, like you want to believe. Give me a break. It goes way back in time. These signs and symbols, it's nothing new. Okay? Going back to this episode of Friends. Is he talking about making a three-point shot? He's not. It's all about the occult once again. And taking a look at more images of the occult of the 666 hand sign and the devil horns incorporated together. So people get the big picture. Again, going back in time with the Beatles. John Lennon, Devil Horns, Paul McCartney, and you see the 666 hand sign, the yellow submarine as well. The yellow and black, which I'll get into in a little bit. Again, the incorporation of the 666 hand sign and the Devil Horns. Going back to the 80s with Eddie Murphy and Rick James. Okay, They are not doing this on their own. They are merely puppets told to do this. Take a look. There you go. Okay. Right there, right in your face. Saying, okay, you've been born into the lie system. You can keep believing this means A-OK. -okay. It does not. It's 666. These are devil horns. He's not saying he loves you. Okay? Now getting back to the occult, when it comes to these deceivers, just like Stephen Curry, who's nothing more than a mere sellout. Here's another example with Striper. Okay? These people look like Christians to you. Just take a look at all the signs and symbols. Yellow and black has all to do with Satanism. Okay, this is nothing new. Take a look here as well. What do you see hidden in plain sight? The swirl. This is the number nine. This is all about the occult of the number nine. I'm going back in time, taking a look at this hoax, this psyop with Richard Ramirez. This is all a 100% staged photo with the five and four. Five and four equal nine, and this is Satan's number. 
just like you've seen, and they live on the TV screens with the five and four. Again, Satan's number, number nine, like love potion number nine. And for those that might doubt that Satan's number is number nine, just take a look at the Satanic website, talking about ritual with the Satanic Church with Anton LaVey, talks about the ritual that's taken place with the organist, how LaVey picks up a large brass ball. I made a video about the occult of the bell, just like Hell's Bells. He waves the bell around the and slowly revolves it counterclockwise. I'm going to get into this. The law of reversal, doing things in reverses and opposites with counterclockwise before his followers. He rings the bell nine times. Satan's number. Okay. To clear the air. So understand, Satan's number again is number nine. Just like you see here in the Satanic Bible with the Satanic nine statements. You see this image. Again, the, the occultists are all about signs and symbols and the Pentagon in the middle with the number nine and the upside down crosses, as you can see as well. Now, again, with signs and symbols ruling this world, let's take a look here at Stuart Sutcliffe. Again, there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to signs and symbols. Interestingly enough, with Hitler and Donald Trump, two Germans doing the same exact Masonic hand sign. People that don't believe in God, they're looking for a hero. They're looking for Hitler as some type of hero. What a complete joke. Okay? There's nothing new under the sun. It's all about mockery with Trump doing the same sign as Hitler. Don't trust a word that comes out of his mouth. Again, they're all about signs and symbols, as I showed in the very beginning of this video. Now, take a look here as well. When it comes to Hillary Clinton, you know, supposedly, again, Donald Trump and Clinton are supposed to be rivals. Clinton is 33, as I mentioned many times. Bill Clinton changed his name from Bill Blythe to Bill Clinton to get 33. And you get the orange for 33, and you get the Nazi hand sign as well. So again, they control both sides, left and right. In this case, left. In this case, right with the Republican versus the liberal Democrat. Take a look here as well with Clinton doing the same thing. Don't think for a second, again, either side, Clinton or Trump or any kind of heroes. Nothing could be further from the truth. Again, they control both sides. Now, again, talking about signs and symbols, taking a look at this Peter Gabriel album cover artwork. And again, you see the 666 hand sign. And also the covering or the blinking of the right eye, the one eye symbolism. Again, this is all about duality, 666. And again, the one eye symbolism, blinded in the right eye, as I mentioned before. It's all about the one-eyed Antichrist who's blinded in the right eye. So again, I show this many times. That's why all the puppets are doing this. Basically, the sign for the Antichrist, the coming Antichrist, this is what it's all about. Now, talking about duality in Freemasonry, taking a look here when it comes to Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Again, I have a lot of people coming to my channel telling me, oh, it means LSD or it means, you know, one particular thing. It's not. People don't understand Freemasonry. It's always about duality. There's never a single meaning for anything when you get the G. There's a lot of debates online about what the G means. People should stop debating this. There's multiple meanings, okay? One meaning is this, is 33. From the alphabet, it's A to Z is 26. You flip it over, you get G, you get 33. And it's also for Grand Architect. It's also for Gravity. It could mean, it means many, many things. So people should not argue on the occultic meaning when, again, Freemasonry is always about duality, the meanings of many things. Now, like I mentioned before, how Satanists do things in opposites, in reverse. Just like I showed here with Anton LaVey's ritual, satanic ritual, will they revolve it, the bell uh, counterclockwise to his followers. Again, this is the law of reversal, like I showed many times from Crowley. It goes back even further to Elephus Levi. I covered this many times, how they do everything in backwards and reverse. Just like when you watch the Flash Gordon movie from 1980, and Clytus with the Masonic symbol on him, and you see the hourglass, and instead of the hourglass going down, it goes up, as you see here. If you watch the movie, 
the sands go up. Again, this is the satanic law of reversal. Now, very important point I want to make. I talk about flat earth and a lot of people are in denial. They want to believe the lies of science. They understand evolution is nothing but a lie. If you are a believer in God and Christ, but you're not going to believe that we live on a flat earth for some odd reason. You know, you need to understand everything we're told once again is a lie. I'm going to explain this very simply. When they tell us the sun is 93 million miles away, this is the law of reversal. When actually they tell us it's 93 million miles away, it's actually close. Same with the moon. They say the moon is 238,000 miles away when it states in Genesis in the Bible that everything is within the firmament. It states the two lights are within the firmament. So there should be no confusion. It also states that the earth is fixed immovable. Science tells us we're spinning. So a few people out there that claim you're Christians and you reject this, you're rejecting the Bible and you're going along with man-made science. Now, again, when, it, when I talk about mockery, let's take a look here with this music video, the song by Prodigy. Again, I always talk about how they give us you know, hidden messages in movies, TV shows, music, every which way possible instead of the news where you expect it. Again, the law of reversal. Take a listen to what he says. And once again, understand, the lyrics of these songs are given to these musicians to sing. They're not heroes in any which way. Again, a form of mockery. Take a listen. I tell you no secret, it's a secret. Government, they worship a owl. They practice witchcraft to the harness their power. Pedophiles break little kids for energy. The satanic ritual, WTC. There's so much truth in this. But again, it's a form of mockery. Just take a look at the sign of silence just like you just saw it's all about the occult the hippocrates and keeping silence keeping secrets it's all about masonry and again the singer is speaking the truth but again it's a form of mockery you see the goat here we get that one image throws up the devil horn sign again no hero they're all about signs and symbols I want to get this one image here, if I can get to it, with the owl. Now, why do they worship the owl, like he said in the lyrics? It's all from the Bible, from Romans 1 to 5. Who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator? This, so this is the exact reason why they worship the owl, okay? And they worship you know, there's tree worship when it comes to paganism. It's all about worshiping the created instead of the creator. And so these Satanists know exactly what the Bible states, and they do the exact opposite. Just take a look at this image from Anderson Cooper and CNN. Supposedly, one of the murdered or killed children drew this picture. Six-year-old Grace of an owl. And if you look closely enough, it even says NWO within the eye. Okay, all, all seeing I, NWO, get a little close up of that image. And one last thing I want to point out when it comes to the Bible, many people believe the Freemasons wrote the Bible. Understand what the churches teach and what the Bible says do not match. Just take a look at these Bible verses when it comes to the Christmas tree itself. Again, worshiping the created instead of the creator. That's what it's all about. It states here in Jeremiah 10, For the customs of people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver, with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it not move. And this is your Christmas tree. The Bible says, basically, do not have a Christmas tree. And what do Christians do? They have a Christmas tree. This is, again, pagan tree worship. So your churches are knowingly or unknowingly deceiving the congregation. States here, Mark 7, 8, neglecting the commandments, the commandment of God, you hold on to the tradition of men. And this is the tradition of men. Nowhere in the Bible it talks about having a Christmas tree. It talks about not having one, and the churches won't tell you this truth. You know, tells you a lot. The churches have been infiltrated a long time ago. When the Bible states that Satan deceives the world, in Revelation 12, 9, this is no exaggeration. It's very literal. If you understand this concept, they when they read this in the Bible, it's told to them, it goes in one ear, out the other, how Satan deceives the whole world.